Good morning, people. Well, right, so we are back on the Z car build. Right, so as we know, the engine is in and it looks very nice, all nice and shiny. Oh, yes, it's obviously added more horsepower. Just being this clean, you're gonna gain horsepower. But as you've seen in the last video, the engine doesn't fit. All right, so what we've got is no clearance there. Now this is the other engine with a Gen 1. This is a Gen 2 lower with a Gen 1 top. Gen 2 lower casings are slightly different. But we have an issue where we are up against there I've managed to bolt this black frame in and we are already miles off lining any sorts of holes up. And the bottom one's the same, I don't know whether I'll be able to see. Sort of, yeah? So we're already off with zero clearance. Yeah? So we at least want a few mil down there, preferably five mil clearance. So what we are going to have to do is remake this black frame. It's more work, but I could probably bastardize this one. But I wouldn't mind keeping this one on the shelf as a spare or as an original. So what I'm tempted to do is make two new ones. So but replace this one. Then I'll keep this one as an original and a secondary one as a spare. Because I could bastard, bastardize this, chop these off, make new tabs, spin them round, put them on. The bottom one, I'd have to chop that one off, spin that one round. But if you look at the other issue we've got, is clearance here is four mil virtually nothing so when i jack that engine up to get clearance at the front the engine actually well it hits that weld on that one which stops but this there's not enough clearance all these bars are in the wrong place so to bastardize it would basically mean me cutting these out cutting these off starting with two tubes with end pieces in well <clears throat> i've got the tube and i've got the material to make the end pieces so I might as well just make new ones because all the tabs are going to be in a different place anyway. And that way, lowering the diff becomes a bit easier because I can change the angle of this. The minute it sits up, I am very tempted to lower that down, which will then drop the whole diff mount bracket. So I won't have to make... Because to lower the diff, I was having to make longer... I'll show you. Longer diff mount brackets. Yeah. Here's the diff mount brackets. Right. So you've already got a bit of length, which can incur flex. But I couldn't drop this diff down because we are very close to the end. So I'd have to make longer ones of these. If I change the pivot point at the top, it lowers this diff down using the original part. I'll make some of these anyway. Because that is literally just box section inside. I don't know whether you'll see. No, there's uh, sleeves in here. One inch on the end. Very simple. He doesn't want any starter bracket on there anyway. So I can probably keep these ones myself and make him new ones. So instead of me just charging him to make the new ones, I just exchange them. Because down there I've got a set of radius arms anyway. I can easily make this. This car needs a better one. So if I think it needs it, it needs it. So this needs a better cradle to get the right angle of the engine. Because at the minute the engine's sitting back. So the back needs to come up to make the sump level anyway. So that way then, we call two birds one stone. We're lowering the diff and creating clearance on the dry sump. So I've took some measurements. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop some 45 we're going to make four end plugs. Uh, what I'm going to do is this bottom tube, these ones are bolts 
are dead central to that. And the new one, I'm going to make the same. With the bottom one, I'm going to make it eccentric a little bit. I'm going to move the hole further to that side, which will bring this bottom tube out slightly. It will only gain five mil, because I don't want to go too close to the edge. But that five mil is the five mil we need at the front. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to, this will be rolling out. So technically I want this much gap here. I want this clearance here, right? You can't really see it. I want this clearance here with the extra five mil at the front. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'll machine two of these. Well, I'll probably make four and then make another four eccentric. So they're offset. Then this is just 38. I think this is 35. Large shoes, 38. So that's all I've got. And I might put a bit more curve in it. Yeah. And then all these are just tabs. I haven't actually got any. I can either buy them or make them. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably make them. This is one inch solid bar, which I've actually got to buy because I haven't got any. And I'm not turning my 40 mil down to one inch. So I've got to buy some one inch bar. That is literally just a piece of one inch box section. So you've got 45 mil tube. I'm hoping it's CDS. So it's 45. That's a piece of one inch box section lying on its side. And that's a piece of one inch tube lying on its side. So all I'll do is I'll weld this to this on the bench and then I'll weld this to this on the bench so it's square, yeah? And then that one will go in and then that tube will go in the frame and then I'll mock these up, set this to the desired angle I wish by putting a diff on and, you know, working that out. Right, so what I'm gonna do, now I'll finish mumbling on, drink my coffee. I'm going to cut four pieces of CDS, chop, 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 clean the ends up. They've got to be dead square. That's why I've got the bone saw out. I'm going to get the 50 mil bar, solid stock bar, and I'm going to cut the, the end pieces. And I've worked them out that, if anybody wants to know, the 45 millimeter tube is 340 millimeters long. And the end caps protrude out 10 mil. So the gap in this frame is 360 mil, right? So see, this is my little, it's my little drawing. It's not the best, but it's my little drawing, right? So, and you'll probably want to go 10 millimeters into the tube. So your end caps need to be 20 mil deep, and then you're going to put a 10 mil recess to go into the 45 mil, which is like 38, 40 mil. So it slots in. So you put a recess on the bit you're making, so it slots inside, and then it protrudes out a couple of mil, like that, and it's 10 mil deep. So it's 10 mil, 340 mil, 10 mil. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to time lapse life out here. I know you don't like it, you like to be a little bit more in, but it's gonna take a while for me to make all this up. So I'm gonna just go chop, 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 lave, 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 lave and then we'll come back and we're building it together. Okay, I hope you don't mind, but it's just the best way to, I'm dropping my phone, just the best way for me to do it, I think. Right then, let's do a cracking job. Please. Right, so I'm cutting the 50 mil bar. It's taking a while. I could do with a new blade, but screw fix letting us down, man. They haven't got any in stock and they haven't for months. What I've done is I've done my little cuttings and I've made these. These are the section that holds the solid bar here. Yeah? I've made them identical. Right, so we've got a end cap them, and then this goes on. This is four and seven eighths long, right? I don't know if that's critical, but I'm going to replicate it. So it's four and seven eighths. So the, the inside of there to the inside of there, 
like from the start of the 45 it's the same and then that's going to get cut you know like blank top and this will get welded to there with the one inch bar here so you've got two tops two buttons right all right then we've got these little nuggets i'm making i'm doing these 30 mil don't need 30 mil but i'm doing them 30 mil because i want 10 mil on the outside i'm gonna go might go 15 mil sliding inside the tube yeah we're gonna have focus so i've got enough here now to grab it face it do my 15 mil and i've got enough to hold but you gotta remember when you're doing stuff like this where it's got to go inside something you've actually got to have enough material to hold on to you know what i mean if i was to grip this with just a tiny bit of material you could do it but it's not ideal you want to grab it as much as you can so we're going to face it turn it down to the id of the tube then we'll drill it whilst it's in that because then we know the hole and the part that's going inside the tube is running parallel then we'll flip it over grab it by the 15 mil face it to size put a chamfer on it tap it out You've got eight of these to do. Well, four of them, the hole's gonna be off center. So, I'm gonna chuck a couple in the lathe and you can watch me do it, okay? This is pretty simple. I'm not gonna clean up the outside because it's all gonna get machined off anyway. So I'm just gonna pop it in. And I'm gonna make sure I've got 15 mil sticking out. Minimum, because I got 16 mil and then that can give me a little bit to come off. And we're holding it, we've got three teeth on there, so. Yep. So that means we can stop just before my jaws. That's what I like. We'll crank that up. What I'm gonna do is face it. We need to know the ID of my 45 mil. So we need to take it down to 39 mil. 39 mil should going quite nice. So we want that to 39 mil. We need to take 11 mil off there. So we're gonna do is first face it. 11 mil. Shouldn't take that long. this state and I've got four with no hole in. The four with no holes are the ones that I'm going to offset. But what I'm doing to start with, I'm making all of them, I'm sorting out this diameter now. So they've all got 15 mil here. Some have got the 7 16 holes, some have not. So this now needs to be turned down to 10 mil. And we are at 14 mil. Yeah. So all I'm doing Chucking them all in against the chuck. And I've got this set. So it's it's fixed this way, and all I'm using is my little crank. And when that's all the way in, that's 10 mil. Yeah? So I've done a few of them, so we're down to 10 mil, it's still a bit, a bit warm. So yeah, that's what we're gonna get. So I'm gonna do all of them now. Right, so we've got all of them. Now what we need to do is take them to size, which is OD 45 mil, same as a tube, yeah? So these are going to be butted up. They're not going to be slightly inside, they're going to be butted. 
<coughs> so I'm going to put mine a bit more than that. And then I'm going to drive the tool in the back, which will give me a bit of a chamfer on the back edge. Right, so all I'm going to do is turn that, set that at 45 mil, and then just take it through. Yeah, turn the OD down to the same size as the tube, which not a lot's got to come off. Yeah, and then we're cooking on gas. And I might not chamfer these, I might just leave them flat. All right, all right. let's do all the way, shall we? Quite simple to do. So we know this is 50 mil, isn't it? So we want five mil, two and a half mil off each side. There's stuff everywhere. We've already got our zero set in. So one, two, Forty-five point seven two. Forty-four point five, and this is forty-five point five. So technically, we can take another mill Yeah, just like that. 44.72, it's close enough for me. And we'll use, I might use the 45. Spin it over. Putting a tip in this one as well. And we'll do use this quite a lot, this tool. So now what we'll do is we can use this tool to run our chamfer on the front and on the back. Yeah? As long as I can get it in. Might have to pull it out a bit more. Yeah, different person. I'll get the rest of these done. Hang on, I'll show you first. So what we've got there, a bit of a chamfer on the front to see, and then there's a chamfer there. So when it's in the tube, a bit of a weld prep, just there. I'll probably weld prep all of these as well. Just some way to run the welding. All right, to the rest of them.
Right, so what I've done here is I've moved it over so it's now being caught by his three jaw. Yeah, now that's gaining me my five mil that I want. So all it's doing is moving the centre over five mil from the centre of that point, which is the five mil clearance I want between <clears throat> between those two fittings and the subframe. So that's where I'm gaining my five mil clearance. Right, so I'm going to drill them out. Can't take it with me because my phone's about to die, so I've got to plug it in. I'm going to draw them out, and they've all got to be tapped uh, half inch, 20 TPI or something like that. Right then, I'll get them done. Right then, <clears throat> these are done now. So I've got four offsets, four non offset, and I don't know if it's going to focus in. A beautiful half inch by 20 pitch thread. So if you use a 7 16 drill bit, and a really good tap. It's beautiful. Bolt fit really nice. So now these are going to get tapped into their tubes. Two sets of top, two sets of bottom. Yes, you got to align the bottom because you've got to make sure that the bottom and the bottom are square. So that's what we'll do in the next little video. We're going to knock these in, weld them up and then make the center bars. One inch solid bar tomorrow. My bow man's down this way, so he's gonna go and grab that for me tomorrow. And we'll kick off with this again tomorrow. See if we can get these back ends made up. I'm not sure whether I, I might just make the tabs instead of just ordering some. So I've got a four mil plate and a three mil plate. And that's what they've used here. These are four mil and the, the tension is a three mil. So I'm just going to copy what's what's already been used. Right then, so I'm going to call it here for that one. Right then, see you in the next one, people.